Hi, this is Mark from ereplacementparts.com. In this video, I'm going to show you the proper way to change the blade on a bandsaw. We'll start by first removing the old blade. Remove the tension from the blade. And now just thread the old blade through the slot on the table. Now we need to get the guide blocks ready to accept the new blade. I'm just going to loosen all the guides on the block and move them as far out of the way as I can so they're not in the way when we mount the new blade. I'll repeat the same process on the bottom guide. And now I'll go ahead and mount the new blade. The first thing I need to do is kind of thread it around each of the guides and up onto the wheels. Now we'll go ahead and apply the tension back onto the blade. You can see the indicator working its way up on the scale. We'll stop when the indicator gets to the 3 quarter inch mark, as that's the size of blade we're using. And right about there will be good. The next thing we need to do is track the blade. I want it to be tracking right on the center of the tire. Just like that. Okay, with the blade tension and tracked, now we can reset the guides. I'm going to start by setting the ball bearing guide, and I want to bring that up so it's just maybe a 32nd of an inch behind the blade. I just want to see a little light between it and the blade. And I'll lock it in place. Now I'm going to bring my guides here up so they're right on the center of the blade. like that. As far as where to set these guides, I like to bring them up so they're just barely touching the blade. I don't want really any tension on them or any pressure on the blade, but I want them just touching. And then I'll lock those down. And now I'll repeat this process on the lower guide. And that's how you change the blade on a bandsaw. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to leave us a comment or ask a question.